Let me tell you, don't let the internet get you caught off guard. There are women out there that will say, I don't need a man to open the door for me or pull out a chair. I got this, back up, cool. Then you get comfortable with not being chivalrous and you wonder why your next date is waiting on you to open the door and you hit her with, ah, do you have carpal tunnel? I mean, you can open the door, right? Nah, man, that's a great way not to get a second date. Chivalry is alive and well. Let me tell you how being chivalrous is a cheat code to transform your dating life to experiences that you'll both enjoy. I'll be right back. Let's get it. Chivalry creates a sense of security. When we come from different areas of the world or different parts of a country, we often have different philosophies on chivalry. Sometimes it's challenging to overcome what we've seen and heard our entire lives. Men, I would encourage you to first consider that you're spending time with someone you're learning about and you care about. When you care about something, you make a point to take care of it. Being chivalrous is taking care of your date. She feels secure when you make sure she gets home safely. She feels secure when you walk on the appropriate side to keep her safe from cars or people passing by. She has a sense of security when you share your jacket when she's cold. Anything you can do to make her feel taken care of on your date is good for the date. And guess what, fam? It's good for your relationship. Chivalry gives an inside look. Culturally, some areas are less chivalrous than others. This is actually a great opportunity for men in the areas where people are less chivalrous. When you offer chivalry, it's a window into your values. When you're putting your ability to be sensitive to her needs on display, she'll see that you have the ability to see past yourself. Women never want a self-centered, egotistical man. When you're being chivalrous and make it happen for her to see, she can quickly tell that you're capable of truly putting her needs first and not being performative like a lot of guys that she's ran into that only want one thing. Also, it's worth noting that being chivalrous to more than just her is important. Hold the door for her as well as others. If you're on the train and a woman is standing, offer to give up your seat. If you know you're gonna have to park a long distance away, consider dropping her off at the entrance. Chivalry is important and it's definitely nice, but the deeper meaning to her is that she knows you see her and you always will. Chivalry is one of the easiest ways to connect with a woman. It's getting a point in the plus column for simply being thoughtful. By the way, I'm Jay Hurt. Welcome to my channel, The Confident Charismatic, where we talk about charisma, confidence, and winning at life. Now, let's get into one of the most important things chivalry brings to your relationship. Chivalry makes her feel respected and important. Chivalry in and of itself is not necessarily altruistic. You can have the wackest dude opening doors, pulling out chairs, and filling her gas tank, yet he's in it strictly for the sex, and the minute he's done, he's out. True chivalry requires another element, respect. Professor Forney from the Civility Institute at Johns Hopkins wrote that chivalry is a form of preferential treatment that men once accorded to women generations ago, inspired by the sense that there was something special about women, that they deserve added respect, and that not doing so was uncouth, cowardly, and despicable. You know, the last time I heard uncouth, cowardly, and despicable was in a Bugs Bunny Elmer Fudd cartoon. I'm just saying. The point the professor makes is profound. The woman is inherently something special. She deserves added respect. And not to do so, man, it makes you whack. That's my modern synonym for uncouth, cowardly, and despicable. Here's the thing, fam. She knows she's someone special. She knows she deserves your respect. You want to make her feel aware that you know how important she is and that you respect her as the amazing woman who chooses to spend time with you. Less commonly known chivalrous acts. Just in case you need to know a few acts of chivalry, let's run down a few 
so you know what you can offer that she'll appreciate. Compliment her on things beside her looks, sending flowers or candy or something she likes on a random day. Yo, Valentine's Day doesn't count. You need to show up on days like that anyway, sir. Kiss her on the cheek or forehead. Walk to the actual door, ring the bell when picking her up. I'm gonna tell you, I would not let these little dudes text my daughter talking about, I'm out in the car. Make her feel important. Walk to the door, escort her to the car. Be respectful to strangers and others. If you treat others with disrespect, she's going to see that you're likely disrespectful in general. Step in during any altercation or awkward situation. You want to make her feel secure and protected. Don't leave her in a situation to have to work it out on her own. Put your phone away. Even if you put it face down, it makes her feel like the phone is more important than the date if it's on the table. If dinner is served, they bring yours, but she doesn't have her dinner yet, guess what? Wait on her to be served. Pay the bill, but most of us get that one. I would add that even after you pay the bill, thank her for the evening. Offer your hand if she's getting out of the car or walking up or downstairs. Let her on the elevator before you and hold the door for others coming to the elevator. Finally, please let her and other women at the table order first. These bits of courtesy and others will make her feel like you're paying attention to her and her needs, which at the end of the day is something every single woman wants. Chivalry isn't dead, it's far from it. You want to think about what it takes to make sure your date feels comfortable, protected, provided for, and relaxed in your presence. So much of dating is less about what you say and more about the atmosphere you provide. It's easy to have fun with your date when she simply feels happy and content when you're around. Chivalry is kind of like the icing on the cake when you're a confident man. When you're thinking about her first and she sees it in how you're courting her, it's pretty much a wrap, bro. You've definitely embraced charisma as your superpower.